Most like to exercise to get healthy or to look good, but one CrossFit gym had a little bit of extra motivation today when they performed a memorial workout. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Nesman is here with us in the studio tonight. Uh, Chris, what was this memorial workout all about? Well, Todd, today it was all about honoring police service men and women, particularly those who lost their lives in Dallas with the police shootings last week. CrossFit, an exercise program not known for being easy, but many of these fitness enthusiasts had a little something extra to give as their workout was dedicated to those who serve our country. We have people who work on the police force here at CrossFit Edify, and this is our way of honoring people who have put their lives on the line every day for our country. People who came to today's session include Officer Jimmy Kohler from the Rexburg Police Department, who worked out in 30 pounds of police gear. It's challenging, like any CrossFit workout, it's always challenging to do that, but I have the extra weight, it's a little bit more challenging. Officer Kohler says working out in groups is similar to working on the police force. You share in each other's successes and each other's pains. We consider it the Blue Line family where we're, um, when we lose somebody in our family, we all feel it. And uh, when we lose five officers at a time and six more get shot, we all feel it. Those feelings are why many of these people switched up their daily routines to come exercise at this particular session. I have friends whose husbands serve in the Dallas Police Department and do so much and sacrifice so much in their, in their personal lives to protect those around them. And we're just so grateful for these police officers and come to support them today. Which is really, really important to me to show my, my support for their families and for their department and all the departments around the United States. Now, halfway through the session, the gym did hold a five-minute moment of silence to remember the five officers who were killed in the line of duty in Dallas. Reporting in studio, I'm Chris Nestman.